do my own video. Especially because that Portland Antifa group. And then the Seattle. The Chop Chaz. Along with Black Lives Matter. Along with all these autonomous zones they're making. All around the USA and the world. And they're taking down our historical monument statues. They're trying to rewrite history. They're trying to put Project 1619 as slavery started 400 years ago. Which is utter bullshit. I call it. I call bullshit as it is. The first slave owner in the USA was a black man. Remember that. Antifa. The anti-fascist handbook. And President Trump is doing everything he can for the black community. Which Obama never did. Bush never did. And the presidents before that never did. But Trump gets criticized. He's there saying he's racist. No, he's not. Trump dated a black girl. Black model for a couple months. He's not racist. Trump had sex with a fucking black girl. I'm sure he ate her all. I'm sure she sucked the stick. I'm sure they ate 69 all that bullshit. All that sexual shit that couples do. That's what Trump did with that black girl. So think about it. Trump is not racist. So get that fucking out of your shitheads. You garbage... Antifa, the anti-fascist handbook by Mark Bray. Let's look at the table of contents. One, anti-fascism through 1945. Two, never again the development of modern Antifa 1945 to 2003. Three, the rise of pinstripe Nazis and anti-fascism today. Four, five historical lessons for anti-fascists. Five, so much for the tolerant left. No platform is free speech. Six, strategy, nonviolence, and everyday anti fascism. Conclusion Good night, white people, or whiteness is indefensible. Append Appendix A Advice from the anti fascists of the past and present to those of the future. Appendix B Select works on North American and European anti fascism. But did the fucking Antifa, who claimed that Antifa they have nothing to do with Ku Klux Klan, um, describe when Ku Klux Klan was founded December 24th, 1865. And Antifa's part of Ku Klux Klan, just to let you know, FYI. 1865, December 24th, 1865. Let's just a little, throw a little tidbit of history. This was right after they killed Abraham Lincoln on April 14th. He was shot in the head. 18, April 14th, 1865, he was shot in the head in a theater by John Wilkes Booth. And then he died April 15th, 1865, the next day. Did anti Antifa tell you the birth of Antifa? In 1913 by Prescott Bush. The same year that they created the formation of the Federal Reserve Act. Antifa was created. Prescott Bush was behind fascism. Antifa. Prescott Bush was behind Federal Reserve. Prescott Bush, a.k.a. Prescott Scarif. And they changed his last name to Bush. He's from Germany. He's a Nazi. Did they tell you that? Do Antifa tell you that in the Antifa book? Nope. They only tell you from the year 1945 or 1943 when Hitler was around. Do they tell you about Mussolini? Do they tell you about Fidel Castro? Do they tell you about Commie China? I don't think so. But let's go look through that book again. So, introduction to the book. I wish there was no need for this book, but someone burned down the Victoria Islamic Center in Victoria, Texas, hours after announcement of the Trump administration's Muslim ban, and weeks after a flurry of more than 100 proposed anti-LGBTQ laws in early 2017, a man smashed through the front door of Casa Ruby, a Washington, D.C. transgender advocacy center and assaulted a trans woman as he shouted, I'm going to kill you, faggot. A day after Donald Trump's election, Latino students at the Royal Oak Middle School in Michigan were brought to tears by their classmates' chants of build a wall. And then in March, a white supremacist army veteran who had taken a bus to New York to target black males stabbed a homeless black man named Timothy Kaufman to death. That same month, a dozen tombstones were toppled and defaced in the Wad Hakatal Jewish Cemetery in Rochester, New York. Among th those resting in peace in Wad in Wad Hakatal is my grandmother's cousin Ida Raymond, who was fatally shot by an employer months after she arrived in the United States from Ukraine as she stood on the picket line with other immigrant Jewish garment workers in 1913. 
the recent spat of Jewish cemetery de desecrations in Brooklyn, Philadelphia, and elsewhere occurred under Trump administration. Will's statement on the Holocaust omitted any reference to Jews. Will's press secretary denied that Hitler guessed anyone, and Will's chief advisor was one of the most prominent figures of the notoriously anti-Semitic alt-right, as Walter Benjamin wrote at the apogee of the interwar fascism. Even the dead will not be safe from the enemy if he wins. Despite a resurgence of white supremacists and fascist violence across Europe and the United States, most consider the dead and the living to be safe because they believe fascism to be safely dead in their eyes. But the fascist enemy lost definitely, definitely in 1945. But did they tell you when the war, World War II was won? It was Nazi versus Nazi and Nazi won. Did they fucking tell you that? Do this motherfucker tell you this shit? Does this little fascist piece of shit tell you this? The one who, the author of this book. I'm telling you, this is garbage. You are being taught garbage. You know what? Let's go look at George Washington's Wikipedia right now. This is George Washington's Wikipedia. I already did a vid another video on it. It's on my channel. But I'm sure this video is going to get banned on Twitter. But, I'm, but you guys have to share it. George Washington, February 2nd, 22nd, 1732, through December 14, 1799, was, American, was an American political leader, military general, statesman, and founding father who served as the first president of the United States from 1789 to 1797. Previously, he led patriot forces to victory in a nation's war for independence. He presided at the Constitutional Convention of 1787, which established the U.S. Constitution and a federal government. Washington has been called the father of this country for his manifold leadership in formative days of the new nation. Washington received his initial military training and command from the Virginia Regiment during the French and Indian War. He was later elected to the Virginia House of Burgesses and was named a delegate to the Continental Congress where he was appointed commanding general of the Continental Army. He commanded American forces allied with France in defeat and surrender of the British during the Siege of Yorktown. He resigned his commission after the Treaty of Paris in 1783. Washington played a key role in adopting and ratifying the Constitution and then was and then elected president twice. By Electoral College, he implemented a strong well-financed national government while remaining impartial in a fierce rivalry between cabinet members Thomas Jefferson and Alexander Hamilton during the French Revolution. He proclaimed a policy of neutrality while sanctioning the Jay Treaty. He set enduring precedents for the office of president during the title Mr. President and Farewell Address is widely regarded as a preeminent statement on republic republicanism. Republicanism, remember, republicanism. So, let's go look at his early life. So, let's go look at his early life. As we all know, he inherited slaves from his father. And what, well, some of you don't know, Washington was against slaves, against slavery. That's why he gave the slaves um, clothing, health care, Food, pay, as a regular person that works for him. Early child of French and Indian War. So where where is that part that they inserted? Where is the part that they inserted? Sixteen nineteen, Project sixteen nineteen. I'm telling you, they inserted Project sixteen. Let's go look at the bottom of the page real quick. Hold on. Let me see when was this page last edited. So they re-edited the page July 18th, 9, 2020. So they took out Project 1619 from this page. Because somebody edited this page and put Project 1619 in this. They edited this page and put Project 1619 on this. And I have proof and it's on my video. And there's no Project 1619 on this in this document right here. On this Wikipedia, there is no Project 1619 because I don't see 400 years of slavery. Okay? Just to let you know, that person who edited this page was a lefty. 
or they work for the go d Democratic government trying to rewrite history. You can't rewrite history because they tried to add Project 1619 in this Wikipedia article and it was re-edited re and I have proof. I have, I have fucking video proof on my channel. Go find it. Have fun. And let's go back to this anti-fascist book. So we're back to the anti-fascist book. So right here, I said I read Free State. Where is it? Introduction. Okay, fuck the introduction right now. Let's get out of the introduction. Secret cooking of the count books. Six million Jews. Where is it? Mark Bray. Pro Programs of the Youth. Beckham and Rose. Denny Turkish. Where, where is Turkish? USSR. Because right now you're just getting a taste of socialism. This is just a taste. We've lived through it for eight years under Obama. Education leaflets, stickers, posters, letters, signs, direct action, spray paint, crowbars, bricks. Confrontation, your decision. That's what they tell you to do. That's what they tell the Antifa's to do. This is what they teach them. Black Panthers. The John Brown Anti-Klan Committee had developed out of the border traditions of militant resistance to the white supremacist terror op optimized by the Black Panther Party, the Black Liberation Army, and the Black Nationalism, and more broadly known as the Brown Barrett's Young Lords, Young Patriots, and other similar formations. While the political lens of these groups was shaped far more by the anti-imperialism than a specifically anti-fascist tradition, the Black Panthers frequently called the police fascist pigs. Okay, so no freedom about that, that one. The older members of JBAKC. United States with ARA. Center for Democratic Renewal was excited about the sudden upsurge of anti racist organizing as Minneapolis Baldy Karen recalls, but they also shared some legitimate concerns such as the pre presence of exclusive whatever that word is. You guys gotta look at this yourselves. I'm just gonna put the link for this shit in the description of this video. I'm just showing you my two cents on this fucking garbage shit that I'm reading. This fascist garbage shit, racist shit that they try to teach our children in school. New Jersey anti-racist action based out of New Brunswick. The new white ant the, the black Antifa will be called the Black Lives Matter. And it's run by the Marxist girls. Like that one chick. What's her name? Can't even think of her name. She's in that video with Glenn Beck in it. Talking about Black Lives Matter being introduced into schools. I, I hope you guys are awake to this shit. Because this is bullshit. This is garbage. The rise of the pinstripe Nazis. Pine stripe Nazis. And anti-fascism today. So, when I see this name, screenshot it, because I'm about to screenshot it, right here. When I see this name, look, this is what I think of. Bowling! I had first place trophy in bowling. My little brother, when he was a baby, picked it up. Book my bowling trophy. I I'm a great bowler. This is what I think about. Pine stripe bowling, you see it? Pine stripe bowling alleys. You see it? You learning? Are you learning? I hope you are, because this is what real, real jerks that don't even learn, <laughs> I mean, these people have no education. Oh, this is what the Democrat Party is. Democrats stands for us. It's democracy, yeah. Not republic. It's not republic, it's democracy. We're supposed to be fascist. We're supposed to be communist, socialist. We're supposed to be like the Soviet, you, you, Soviet, um... Soviet Union? Was it Soviet Union? Um, um, we're supposed to be like Venezuela. Like, call me China. Put masks on. Be like, be like muzzled dogs. As soon as you put a mask on, you're supporting Joe Biden. Just letting you know. Trump is for freedom. We don't want freedom. 
We want to get rid of First Amendment, Second Amendment, Third Amendment, Fourth Amendment. We want to get rid of the U your U.S. Constitution. We want to get rid of the Bill of Rights. We want a whole new government. This is what we want. We want it our way. We can't even make up our mind what we want. Every day is something new and something different that affects us, that but hurts us. This is what the propaganda of the left is. I hope you guys are learning. I hope you guys are seeing. I hope you guys are awake to this shit. Because I am pissed off. So, so share this fucking video. Peace out, bitches.